Welcome to Curious Pharma. Welcome to the new series. In this series, we are going to discuss the whole classifications. Just classifications with the shortcuts to remember and to memorize it. Here, our first part consists of anti-malarials. They are classified into around 12 types. It is a chemical classification. Here, I have arranged all these uh, classifications first letters in a sequenced way so that you can remember very easily. That is 48ABCD NPQ SST. It is an alphabetical order in which we will be uh, memorizing it very easily. We will see each one of them what it denotes. 4. 4 means 4 amino quinolines. That means amino group is in at the 4th position in the quinone. Then, second one, 8 amino quinolines. Here, amino group will be, in, uh, will be at the 8th position. Acrine, biguanides, synchono alkaloids, diamino pyrimidines, naphthoquinone, phenanthrone methanol, quinoline methanol. Sulfonamides and sulfones, sesquiterpenes, lactones, tetracyclines. These are the major classifications involved in the antimalarial drugs. Now we will see the important examples that are present uh, in each of the classification. First one, four amino quinolines. You will be uh, remembering these examples by remembering the ACB. A means amodoequine, C means chloroquine, P means pyroquine. Next, second one, eight amino quinolines. Here, by remembering the BP, you will be getting uloquine, pyrimaquine. These are the examples of 8 amino quinoline. Like you will get the direct questions uh, based on the classification. If you remember the complete classifications in the pharmacology, you will be completing almost uh, major, major portions of the syllabus. So please remember everything that I have said in the slides. Next, third one, Aquaman. Uh, everyone, uh, I, I think that everyone saw the movie Aquaman from the DC Universe. In that Aquaman, you will be remembering the three drugs uh, which belongs to the Aquaman category. Here, Atabrine, Quinacrine, Mepacrine. Next, fourth one, Biquanates. These are actually belongs to the anti-diabetic drugs, but uh, these drugs are also useful for the anti-malarial category. Here, you remember the British Pharmacopoeia Council. B represents the biguanides, and P and C represents the examples, proguanide. Actually, chloro chloroguanide is the active ingredient of proguanide. Next, fifth one, synchono alkaloids. Here, you remember the C square, sorry, CQ square. In this, C represents the synchono. You will easily remember the quinine and quinidine for synchono alkaloids. Then the sixth one, diamino pyrimidines. Here it has only one example, pyrimethamine. Next, naphtha quinone. You will be doing everyday snaps in the snapshot. In the snap, N and A will represent the naphtha quinone and adaba quinone respectively. Next, eighth one, phenanthrin methanol. You remember the PM house. In the PM house, PM represents phenanthrin methanol, house represents halophantrin. It is one of the most important drug for animal areas. Quinoline methanol, mefloquine. Next, sulfone, sulfonamide, and sulfone. Here you remember the triple R, RRR. You will be watching the movie every day when you like. Here, after R, what comes? S. You remember three S's. First S denotes sulfonamide, which indicates the category. And the second and third S denotes sulfamethoparazine and sulfadoxin. Sulfadoxin is the shortest acting sulfonamide. Dapsone. Dapsone is also a sulfonamide which is used for the antimalarial drug. Then, 11th one, sesquiterpene lactones. Here you remember the three A's, A, A, A. Before you remember, triple S, then triple A. Artisanate, artimether, artether. These are all artemisinin derivatives. They are produced from a Chinese herb. These are all derivatives of artemisinin. Next, tetracyclines. Here you remember the TTD. It is a Thirumala Thirupati Devasthana. In that, the first D denotes tetracyclines, second D denotes, sorry, D denotes doxycyclines. These are the major classifications, in uh, major uh, major examples and classifications which are very important for the GPAC preparation. So, by these shortcuts, you will be able to remember everything, every example. So, I think it is helpful for you. Thank you.